Good morning again to you lovely students of mine. Um, I wanted to take 10.3 a step farther and talk more about making predictions based on uh, experimental and theoretical probability. Okay, so let's first look at these problems and you don't have to write these down, just watch and maybe write down how we do them. Number one, it says a baseball player reaches base 35% of the time. How many times can he expect to reach base at 850 at-bats? This is all based on, it says, you know, he's a, he's a baseball player. It's got to be based on experiment, okay? So 35%. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the percentage of time he normally gets on base, and we always multiply, remember, of the time. So we're going to take 35% and make it a decimal, so we're going to take 0 0.35 and multiply it by the number of times he wants to know if he is going to reach the base. So we're going to take 3.35 times 850. And that, you can use your calculator, comes up to be 297.5 times, but can you really have a 0 0.5 times? No. So we're going to say he can reach base approximately 298 times. Okay? Okay, remember, pronunciation of people's names. Who cares? Frederica, but we'll just call this person Free or Fred. Can make 65% of her shots from the free throw line. If she shoots 75 times, how many shots can she... can? Excuse me, how many shots can she expect to go in? Again, it's based on her shooting percentages. 0.65, that's that as a decimal. Multiply by well, how many times is it? 75. Type that into your calculator. And it comes up to be 48.75, but she's not going to shoot. She's not going to expect to shoot and make 48.75, so we'll say it's approximately 49 shots. Okay, number three. In 1951, Odessa, Texas had temperatures of at least 95 degrees Fahrenheit 11% of the time. During that year, how many days could residents predict would have highs of at least 95 degrees? Okay, now there's some information in here that we don't need. We do not need in 1951, right? We're looking at temperatures of at least 95 degrees, but does that really have anything to do with it? No. Here's your experimental probability right there, 11% of the time. But it says during that year. Well, how many days are in a year? <laughs> Some people don't know this, but I will tell you, 365 days in a year typically, and we're going to take 11% and make it 0 0.11. So punch that in your calculator, and you come up with 40.15, but we can't have 0.15 of a day, so we're going to say this is approximately 40 days that are in the highs of at least 95 degrees. Okay, let's look at the next ones. I'm not going to do number four make uh, a prediction based on theoretical probability. Theoretical probability is what, in theory, what should happen with everything equally likely to occur. It says Gil rolls a number cube 78 times. How many times can he expect to roll an odd number greater than one? So what we have to do is find the probability of an odd greater than one first. Okay, odd number greater than one, well, that would be 3 and 5. So that's 2 out of 6 total. I'm going to reduce that to 1 third. And again, we're going to multiply this. He's going to do it 78 times. So we're going to take 1 third times 78, and it's 78 over 1. Okay? And then does, 70, or does 3 go into 78? Well, use your divisibility test. 7 plus 8 is 15, and 15 is divisible by 3, so we're going to take 78, and we're going to 
to cancel three out. That's a one, that's a 26. So you can expect to roll an odd number greater than one 26 times. Okay, I'm gonna skip this one. Seven, it says a shoebox holds the same size discs. There are five red, six white, and seven blue. You pick out a disc, record its color, and return it to the box. If you repeat this process 250 times, how many times can you expect to pick either a red or a white disc? So we have to figure out what's the probability of a red or a white first. Okay, well, how many reds and whites are there together? Red and white, there's 11 out of how many total? 18 that does not reduce so we're going to take 11 over 18 and multiply it by 250 times okay so that's over one we're going to go ahead and um, uh, let's see 18 there's a two that goes into both of those right that's 125 so what i'm going to do is take 11 times 125 and then I'm going to divide that by 9, because that's 9 on the bottom. And it comes up to be 152.7, so this is going to be a hun approximately 153 times. And then number 8, Ron draws 16 cards from a standard deck of 60, sorry, 52. The deck is made up of equal numbers of four suits, clubs, diamonds, hearts, and spades. How many times, or how many of the cards drawn can Ron expect to be spades? So the first thing we have to do is find the probability of a spade. Well, the probability of a spade is a fourth, right? A fourth of the deck. Because it's 13 out of 52, there are 13 spades out of 52. It's actually a fourth of the deck. And we're going to take that. He's only going to draw 16 cards. So we're going to multiply that by 16 over 1. And that cancels. And how many times, how many cards can he expect to be spades? He can expect four spades. Okay. That's all I have for you today. And um, I'm going to give you your assignment here soon.